Now, I really love building this house, but sanding is something I am just not meant to do. So here I am pretending I'm having a great time sanding the front face mullions uh, for the uh, greenhouse here. A uh, couple notes, these mullions are made out of redwood. They're 2x6 redwood pieces with the same uh, rabbit joint cut in them as I did for the uh, vertical greenhouse wall. That's to ex uh, accept the panes of glass. And I started with 60 grit sandpaper and worked my way to 150 sand grit sandpaper for the finish. You are looking at the finished product. These mullions are completely sanded and finished with Watco Danish oil. And that's going to protect them from discoloring in the excessive sunlight they're going to be bombarded with from day to day. And they are also protected from water and condensation from the greenhouse so they don't rot out. Redwood also naturally has uh, resistance to water so chances of them rotting quickly are very low. This is another strategic use for that Trex plastic wood that never rots. I used it for the framing up from the plating on top of the bond beam underneath the glass windows because in the greenhouse there is going to definitely be a lot of condensation that forms on the inside of those windows because of the temperature difference between the outside and inside. And when that condensation rolls down those windows, it's going to hit this Trex. So the fact that this never rots is extremely important. There are a couple of other pieces of important information I'd like to mention. One is, is that my plans did not call for standard sized panes of glass. Um, that becomes crucial for cost because when you have a custom cut piece of glass, it literally costs almost twice or around twice as much as a standard pane size of glass. So what I did was I framed my exterior greenhouse uh, window boxes as you're looking at right here a little bit smaller. I did 76 inches long by 46 inches wide. I think my original plans called for 84 inches long. So I lost 12 inches. Uh, it doesn't really affect the, the solar gain of the house, but I literally saved about $2,000 just on that one decision. The other piece of information is that uh, this angle of the glass here is based on the latitude of where you're building. It needs to be uh, relative to the sun's position in the uh, winter sky the highest point of the uh, sun's position. So in Taos, New Mexico, uh, you want to do 70 degrees. So this face is cut at 70 degrees, and um, that bottom cut is actually at 22 and a half degrees, and the top cut is at 2 and a half degrees uh, to match my framing that came off the trusses of the roof. The next step is to deck the south-facing side of the greenhouse roof, and with the help of my two trusty henchmen here, we are lowering a piece of three quarter inch CDX onto that face. So we're just going to get that piece into position and then we're going to tack it down with some three and a half inch decking screws and once that's in place we're going to sew it up with a bunch of three and a half inch galvanized nails. Now we're ready to uh, prep the window boxes for window installation. So here we're putting a thick bead of the Alex Plus uh, acrylic caulk with some silicone in it. You don't want to use full silicone here because it would be extremely difficult to get those windows out with that silicone adhesive. You just want a waterproof, uh, weatherproof uh, bed, soft bed for that window to sit in. The actual window installation process is really easy. Get the windows delivered, then you use suction cup handles just to place those windows um, in the window boxes against that bead of uh, acrylic silicone caulk stuff. Um, so you just put them in um, on the bottom and then just drop them in gently and then you just put, if you could see off to the right you put these little just blocks of wood just to hold them in place and press them against for a nice tight seal. 